Hi, I'm Claudia Fayola, and I'm the Fire and Life Safety Educator for Eastlake Fire Rescue. Hi, and I'm George Bessler. I supervise training and EMS here at Eastlake Fire Rescue. We're here to wish you a happy 4th of July, but coming with a happy 4th of July is safety. If you're going to do fireworks, we want you to do it in a safe manner so you don't injure yourself and certainly don't destroy the beautiful community that we have here in East Lake. All right, so now we're going to share some fireworks safety tips for those who are going to be shooting fireworks anyways. But again, we highly recommend that you don't. Um, it's going to be hard this year because most of the shows are canceled, but um, there are alternatives and we've shared some um, of those alternatives with you on our Facebook page. First tip is going to be never allow young children to play with or ignite fireworks. Remember when you're going to buy your fireworks uh, from these fireworks stands, that not to buy the fireworks that are packaged in brown paper because this is often a sign that the fireworks were not made by professionals and could be inherently unsafe. Keep in mind that sparklers are really dangerous for children. Some of these sparklers can get up to 2,000 degrees. Um, so you want to make sure if your children have sparklers, you are supervising them. We know that we are surrounded here in the Eastlake community by a beautiful landscape, including the preserve, and it is so dry. We've already started to see brush fires from natural causes. If we have people using fireworks improperly, we are going to see the loss of our beautiful community areas. We already know that we're fighting this terrible, COVID-19 pandemic. Our hospitals, our emergency rooms are already to capacity. We just cannot have more people needlessly going to hospitals and emergency rooms. So we want to be safe this 4th of July. If you're using fireworks, why this may sound like common sense, it happens way too often when you're lighting fireworks, either you're not supervising or not placing yourself in a position where your body or somebody else's body is in front of the projectile firework that's about to be shot. So make sure nobody's in front of the fireworks anywhere close to where you're firing them off. Never try to relight a firework that hasn't ignited fully. Oftentimes fireworks when they're packaged have multi-stages to them and maybe one or two stages go off and there's still a fuse burning inside that you don't see. So we put them in a bucket of water to extinguish the internal fuse that's burning that you may not see for your safety. We want to make sure that we're, uh, we're lighting them one at a time and as soon as the fuse is lit, we back away for again for our safety. Never point or throw a firework at a person. We want you to celebrate the independence of our great nation. And there are ways to do that. And if fireworks need to be part of that plan, we just ask that you do it safely so that you don't damage property, don't damage wildlife, and don't hurt each other. For more tips, you can visit the link below. And for now, we wish you a very happy and safe 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And oh. don't forget, when you're out in public, it is a county ordinance that you wear your mask. I'm every year. Why is that funny? <sighs> Cut my own hair last night. Do you like it? Yes, it's perfect. <laughs> no, you don't. That means it looks bad. Hi, I'm Claudia Fayola. I'm with Eastlick Fire Rescue. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to show that I have one. So the whole video, you're going to have your mask on like that? No, probably can. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to say, don't forget to wear your mask. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Don't forget to wear your mask. I wonder if this should be a little higher.